Welcome back AP Calc AP students, Mr. Record here, and we are going to take a look at our loan one example that comes from topic 8.6. It's the finale in working with finding areas between curves. Got a little bit of a twist going on in this particular problem, as you can see by the title, is that we're going to look at a pair of curves that actually intersect more than twice. So let's take a look at our problem here. It says we want to find the area of the regions, so plural, bounded by the graphs of f of x equal 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x, and g of x equaling negative x squared plus 2x. Again, sketch and graph the sh and shade the region, and, and predominantly that's there to help us figure out what regions we're finding the area of, of course, and perhaps to help us with our boundaries. So first things first, let's go ahead and sketch the f of x graph. I will do that, uh, let's do that in blue here. And as I tell my students quite a bit, there's no style points for the manner in which you decide to sketch your functions. If you feel the need to set up a table of values, also known as our good friend the t-chart, you go right ahead and do just that. It's a little bit more tedious, takes maybe a little bit more time, but generally it's pretty foolproof as long as you don't make a mistake. So we're going to run some numbers in for x, like say 0, that's an easy one to work with, and we can see very quickly that the f of x is going to be 0, hopefully. If we let x be 1, looks like I'm looking at 3 minus 1 minus 10, which of course would be negative 8. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and plot those as I find them. Might need to move this up a wee bit. So, so far I have those pair, those two points. If I let x be 2, uh, things are changing now. 3 times 2 cubed, that would be 3 times 24, or, or I'm sorry, 3 times 8, I should say, which is 24. Minus 2 squared, which is minus 4, minus 10 times 2, which is minus 20. And then before long, we find, oh, well, goodness, that's just 0. So 2, 0 lies on the curve. Starting to take shape. Now, if we try to plug in 3, take a look what happens. We get 3 times 3 cubed, 3 times 27. Wow, we're already at 81. And I don't think that there's any chance of this coming back down to earth that's a pretty large number right 81 minus 39 what is that 42 or something like that so it's certainly way up above my face right uh, so we could probably come to the conclusion that the graph does something like this it's just going to head out into that stratosphere. Now there's probably some things happening over to the left, so we're gonna keep going with some negative numbers. Be a little bit more careful here. Negative three starts things off here, minus a one plus a 10, and you find that that's equivalent to six. And so at negative one, we're at six. Maybe we'll try negative two, see how that goes. Three times negative two cubed is three times negative eight. So we start with negative 24, minus 4, and then we pop back up with a plus 20, and so we're going to be at negative 8. Again, negative 28 plus 20. Now, knowing what we know about cubics, it's fairly safe to assume that the graph is just going to move way down into oblivion as we move farther out from the x uh, from the origin in the negative direction. And so we have our cubic. We can really trust that this is uh, what we want. Let's do the same thing for g of x. I'll graph him in red. And this one probably won't take as much uh, time because of the fact that it's a bit smaller. Once again, if x is 0, the g of x is going to be 0. So we're going to intersect there at the origin. If x is 1, we have negative 1 plus 2, which is positive 1. Now, when you go to graph 1, uh, 1, be very careful because there is a scale change along the y-axis, as you can see. If we let x be 2, we're looking at negative 4 plus 4, which is, whoa, back to 0, interestingly enough. Let's go to 3, see what happens. Negative 9 plus 6. Well, negative 9 plus 6, of course, is negative 3, which is 
going to be down here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug on plotting points that uh, are positive x values um, and move over to the other side. x is negative 1. We have negative quantity negative 1 squared, which is negative 1, minus r2. So we're back to a negative 3 over here. And let's go with one more. Let's see what happens when x is negative 2. We have negative 4 minus 4, which is our good friend, negative 8 again. And I believe that we could stop here because if we connect these red dots as best we can, we're going to find out that the only times that these curves intersect each other are going to be what's displayed in this particular coordinate plane. And you can see that there are indeed two regions, two regions that are enclosed. We have this yellow region and we have this green region. And we could label them a little differently. Instead of using colors, we could say region one and region two, if that helps. And it's very important that we understand that the problem asked us to find the area of the regions. So that particular area that we talk about is just A1 plus A2. And so if we find those separately and then add them together, we're well on our way. So let's go ahead and do region one first. The area of region one is a definite integral. The boundaries are going to span from negative two to zero. Now I want you to note that this is a problem that will utilize a representative rectangle with respect to x. Right? We're using a vertically drawn rectangle for a variety of reasons, mainly because our functions are already in terms of x. But secondly, we can establish a consistent top minus bottom throughout the entire span of region 1. So the top function would be the f of x, which is the cubic 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x. And then we'll subtract the quadratic, negative x squared plus 2x. And as I say often, you want to make sure that you wrap that g of x in parentheses so that you remember to distribute that negative sign. So there we go. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and work this integral out, which is really kind of a, a very easy integral to take as it's a polynomial, but it's also very easy to make a little mistake. So we need to, to work through that. So let's go ahead and simplify or combine like terms first. Uh, make our integration process a little bit easier. So 3x cubed is going to start things off. Nothing really to combine with. Negative x squared minus negative x squared is a very good thing because those are going to cancel. And then we have a negative 10x minus a 2x, which is minus a 12x. So that does kind of clean things up just a little bit. When we do integrate, we get 3x to the fourth over 4. 3x to the fourth over 4 minus 12x squared over 2, which is minus 6x squared. And then we're going to use our boundaries given, which is starting at 0 and going down to negative 2. So if we plug in 0, obviously that's going to wipe everything out and we get 0. Plugging in negative 2, be careful, 3 times negative 2 to the fourth. Negative 2 to the fourth is positive 16. 3 times 16 over 4. We can reduce the 16 over 4 to get a 4, and thus end up with a 12. If we do the same thing here, 6 times negative 2 squared would be 6 times 4, which is 24. But there is a negative that comes before it. And of course, a double negative here, negative negative 12, is going to give us an area of 12. Region 1 has an area of 12. All right, we're going to now do the same thing with area of region two, setting it up. The integration is going to span from where we left off at zero up to the next x value of positive two in this case. Again, the representative rectangle might look something like this, and it can span this entire region, and it will start when x is zero and end when x is two.
Top minus bottom is going to change a little bit here. As you can see, the top is now going to be the g of x curve, the quadratic, and the bottom is going to be the cubic. All right, as we did before, we are going to go ahead and combine some like terms here. And there is no you know, directive that says that you have to write this in descending order, but you can choose to do so. And if that is the case, I will begin with a negative 3x cubed in this case. Negative x squared minus negative x squared, once again, just cancel. And then I have a 2x minus a negative 10x, which is a plus 12x. So it's kind of interesting that you get a similar looking thing from up here, albeit with opposite signs. Of course, our boundaries are different, and that might make us wonder, how does that play out in the long run? But we're going to integrate and find out. So we have negative 3x to the fourth over 4 plus 12x squared over 2. And once again, boundaries. It's always nice to have zero as a boundary. I always tell my students, zero is your best friend. Plug in two. Well, we're going to start with negative. And I think we've been here and done that, right? Three times 16 over four is the same as three times four. So we're going to start off with a negative 12. Plugging in two for x here, we're going to get a positive six times four, which is 24. And then when we subtract after we enter zero for everything, produces nothing. Negative 12 plus 24 is positive 12. And interestingly enough, the area of region 2 is 12 as well. In fact, these two areas are the same. They're the same size, but certainly not the same shape. So it's kind of an interesting um, byproduct of this problem. But as we said before, our answer to the area is the sum of those two. And that would be important. You would have to make that very apparent at some point um, and draw attention to the answer of 24 in order uh, to receive full credit. So that's it. That is every kind of scenario that you could be faced with in terms of finding the area between two curves, uh, as you've seen through uh, the last three topics and the last six examples, six videos. Uh, we're going to turn our attention to uh, a little bit of a different topic uh, that closes out AB Calculus in terms of uh, finding volume. So we want you to make sure you stick around for those remaining videos. And as always, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. We'll see you next time and keep studying.